Hello, my name is Steven Seiko, welcome to SCSFN tutorial video on how to use SCSFN SAPs in schools. I am using the voice for David from Microsoft. In this tutorial video, I will show you how to enter your students' assessment scores into a Microsoft Excel SAPs, which I've created especially for the primary and elementary schools in Papua New Guinea. This SAPS will help you a lot with the calculations of your students' results in the sense that it will automatically give the total assessment marks for each individual student, percentage, rank out of the total number of students and the grading that a particular student receives at the end of the assessment period. It will also create the report cards for your students, with the marks, percentages, ranks, and gradings being already entered. The calculations in the SAPS are progressive, meaning to say that the SAPS will automatically update each time you enter a new assessment done in the class. There are two SAPS which had been protected in two different ways. The first one is meant for an individual teacher and it is protected by the username of that particular teacher to avoid sharing with the other teachers. The other one is meant for the schools and it is protected by the school name, so it cannot be taken to another school. Because it will not be activated when you try a different school name. Right now, what you are seeing on your screen is my desktop background. You can pause this video each time to follow the steps carefully which I am about to show you. Let's begin. When you insert your CD into your PC, you go to computer if you are using a Windows 7 version or earlier, or go to this PC if you are using Windows 8 or Windows 10 or newer version. In there you will find the CD you have been inserted. So in here what you do is, double click to open it. Or you right click and select open from the drop down list to open it. In the CD there are two files. One of the files is the SAPS in MS Excel format and the other file is this video that you are watching right now. You select the two files and copy paste them somewhere in your computer. For me, I have created a new folder and paste them already in that new folder. When it is in your computer, open it by double clicking on it, and it will open. When it opens, you will see that some cells are colored while the others are white. These colored cells are locked and you cannot even click on them. Where you are required to fill in the information are in these white cells. And this section here, is where you enter the subjects that you are teaching. Down below are the subjects from subject 1 up to subject 8. When you click on each of these subjects, you will see only the instruction which will ask you to read the user's guide. The next three sheets are where you have to print SAS and SAPS, print report cards and print report card covers. Right now in the overall view, when you click on any of these white cells you will be asked to activate the cells. It means you cannot use this program without activating the cells. To activate or to begin, you must enter your username or your school's name depending on whichever SAPs you are using. The one I'm using here is for an individual teacher protected by the username. Here it says, please, enter your username below, so I am going to enter my username here. Mr. Seiko. When you enter the username the whole workbook will be activated and you can start using it now. We are going to start from the top left corner. Here, we are going to select the subjects and fill in the subject box. Let our first subject be language, short form lang. Second subject be mathematics, short form mx. Third subject be science, short form sci. Fourth subject be social science, short form ss. Fifth subject be making a living, short form mal. Sixth subject be personal development, short form pd. Seventh subject be expressive arts, short form arts. And eighth subject be Christian religious education, short form CRE. After you fill in the subject box, you click here, on where it says school name and you enter your school name. Or if you have already entered your school name at the first place, you skip this part. But in here I will enter Aku Primary School. After you have entered your school name, click here on where it says Mark Standardized to, and select from the drop down list the maximum mark to which all the marks for your students will be standardized or scaled up. 
Here I will select 200 because I want all my students marks in every subject to be scaled up to 200. Now we are going to set up the range according to which the students will be graded. All schools have their percentage ranges for gradings. You have to enter the ranges that are used in your school. But in this tutorial, I want my students who got 92% and above to be graded as very high achievement, VHA. 80% and above to be graded as high achievement, HA. 68% and above to be graded as reasonable achievement, RA. 36% and above to be graded as low achievement, LA. 0% and above to be graded as very low achievement, VLA. Below here where it says grade, you enter the, the class or grade that you are teaching. I will select 7 for grade 7. Just below the grade you enter the year, this year is 2017. So I am going to select in 2017. And in here from the drop down list you select the assessment period, I will select 2, for assessment period 2. Each school has its school motto, type in your school motto in the next cells where it says school motto. I will type in success through effort in here. You have already entered most of the necessary information which means you are almost done. Ok, before we continue entering the information, let's click on the subjects below to see that everything is going well. The subjects you've entered are now shown here in each of the subject sheets level 1 to 8. Now, let's get back to the overall view sheet to complete the final part. Let's scroll down a bit. This section here, is where you set up your report card to whichever way your report card settings will be. This cell here is where you do the language selection, select 1 if you want your report card to be in English or 2 if you want your report card to be in Talk Pigeon. I am going to select 1 because I want my report card to be in English. Below here is more or less an optional section, it says, if you decide to change the default observable work effort and ethical values statements, type yours in the spaces below. Otherwise leave them blank. Later, when we go to report cards I will show you what it means and why it is an optional. And this section here, is where you enter the names of your students. The maximum number of students that you can enter into this column and could be supported without any problem is 70. For this tutorial, I am going to type in 5 names of 5 students and enter their marks to see what happens or how it works. Let's make it look formal by typing in their surname in uppercase. Well, here we go, let's say the name of my students are. Arepa Mark, male. Hippalusi, female. Mao John, male. Nai Bobby, male. And Maggie Betha, female. Once you enter the names of your students, they will automatically appear in every subject sheet shown below. This means you will only need to enter the students' names once in the first sheet, and nowhere else. We are done with setting up the SAPs, so now we'll go into each of the subjects and enter the marks of these five students. So let's say we have done one test in language. That test is out of 25. In that Mark scored 20 out of 25. Lucy scored 15 out of 25. John scored 24 out of 25. Bobby scored 21 out of 25. And Betha scored 10 out of 25. Now, you can see that the total marks are given in this column, and these marks are standardized to 200 in this column, percentage is also given here, each of these students are graded according to the range we've set in this box here. This column is showing the rank of this first test, in which John, the one who scored 24 out of 25 is ranked as number 1. Let's say there was another test done in language, but this time it's out of 30. In this test Mark scored 30 out of 30. Lucy scored 28 out of 30. John scored 15 out of 30. Bobby scored 30 out of 30. And Betha scored 20 out of 30. You can see that after the second test everything here is changed. This time it is Bobby who is ranked number 1 with the total of 51 out of 55. And if you want to know the highest, the lowest, and the average in each of the assessments done, scroll down to the bottom and you will see the highest, the lowest, and the average here. Ok let's move to the next subject, Mathematics. 
Let's say in mathematics we have done one assignment out of 20. Mark scored 17 out of 20. Lucy scored 19 out of 20. John scored 15 out of 20. Bobby scored 11 out of 20. And Betha scored 20 out of 20. Okay, we are done with mathematics, let's move to science. In science, we have done one test out of 25, in which Mark scored 24 out of 25. Lucy scored 20 out of 25. John scored 17 out of 25. Bobby scored 23 out of 25. And Betha scored 20 out of 25. Well, everything is looking perfect, now let's move to social science. In social science, we have done a test out of 27. In this test Mark scored 26 out of 27. Lucy scored 20 out of 27. John scored 14 out of 27. Bobby scored 24 out of 27. And Betha scored 27 out of 27. Social science is completed. Let's move on to the next subject, making a living. In making a living, the assessment done was a project out of 40. In that project Mark scored 32 out of 40. Lucy scored 38 out of 40. John scored 40 out of 40. Bobby scored 35 out of 40. And Betha scored 36 out of 40. Good, we are done with making a living. Now personal development. In personal development, the assessment was a quiz out of 10. Mark scored 5 out of 10. Lucy scored 5 out of 10. John scored 4 out of 10. Bobby scored 8 out of 10. And Betha scored 10 out of 10. We have two more subjects to go, Arts and CRE. We must have marks entered in all subjects, in order for us to have a complete report card at the end. Now, Expressive Arts. The assessment done in this was a project out of 35. Mark scored 25 out of 35. Lucy scored 30 out of 35. John scored 34 out of 35. Bobby scored 28 out of 35. And Betha scored 30 out of 35. Now we move on to our very last subject, which is a Christian religious education. In CRE a test out of 20 was done. Mark scored 12 out of 20. Lucy scored 20 out of 20. John scored 14 out of 20. Bobby scored 18 out of 20. And Betha scored 17 out of 20. Well, we have done entering the marks into each of the subjects. Now we click on the print SAS and SAPS here, to see the results in the SAS and the SAPS. This sheet contains 9 pages, the first one displays the subject assessment summary sheet. In this sheet we'll find the standardized marks of all your students, showing across their names. On the right, are their gradings of all subjects. Scroll down to see that on the following pages we have the results for language. Mathematics. Science. Social science. Making a living. Personal development. Expressive arts. And Christian religious education on the last page. And you can also print the results here on this sheet. On the next sheet, we have the report cards created. This is where you print out the report cards. On the first page we have the report card created for the first person on the list, Arepa Mark. Into this report card, every necessary information is being already entered for you. There is no need for you to enter the marks, the percentages, the grades, and the rank into the report cards. What you only required to do after the report card is already printed, is to assess the work effort and ethical values of each individual student by placing a tick in any of these boxes here. After that you write your comments in this page provided for class teacher's comments. On the second page is the report card for the second person, Hippalusi. And on the third page is the report card for the third person, Mao John. And so on. In these report cards, you can change the work efforts and ethical values and type yours in, or type the ones that you use in your school. To change them, you go to overall view. And type in your own in the spaces here. 
they will automatically replace the default ones, that are already set for the report cards. For example, the first work effort is, does homework. This one here. If you decide to change does homework with does study. You go to the overall view and type, does study, on the first blank space under work effort. Does study will automatically replace does homework, and appear in the space where does homework was at the first place. The same change will apply to all the other 70 report cards that follows. Or if you decide to leave them blank, the program will provide the default ones for you. Therefore they are optional. I hope you get it. Now, I will show you how to print the report cards. To print the report cards, we go to print. And we set the print range as this, listen carefully. Since I have 5 students, I will set my range as from page 1 to page 5. And click OK. All the 5 report cards will be printed out. Now let's move to the very last sheet. On this last sheet, we have the optional report card covers. I say optional covers because, if you want to use another cover of your school with your school logo, you may do so. Or if you wish to use any of these covers, let me show you how you print. But, first of all let's say, we are going to use cover on page 2. This one here. Well, how we do, we go to print. Set the print range as pages from 2 to 2, because that cover is on page 2. And the number of copies we enter 5, because we have the total of 5 students. Then click OK. All the 5 report cards will have the same cover on them. All these you do after you place the report cards back into your printer. Well, I think that's all for now, and thank you for watching our program. If you want this program, email us on scsfn2 at gmail.com, or inbox us on Facebook, scsfn. Thank you once again and goodbye.